Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a pick a card reading for my goddess deck. I'm so excited to share these messages with you guys. This deck has helped me through one of the hardest times of my life and it's helped me just find some optimism. It's helped me find balance and peace and it helped me discover this whole concept of rainbow harmony. So I'm really excited to share this with you guys. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick a number, number one or number two. And if you're number two, then check out the description below to fast forward. But if you're number one, we're going to get started. If you're choosing number one, I pulled the mock card for you, the fairness card. And this card says, this manner will be handled in a fair and just manner. So this situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. The book says, let me suggest another definition for fairness. It's when all parties involved surrender their personal agendas in favor of the greater good for the entirety of the group. This requires trust in the wisdom of the whole. When it comes to matters of disputes, the attacks are based on fears that you may not receive your share. Yet attacks amplify the hurt and the pain that caused the dispute in the first place. Why not surrender your attachment to a specific outcome and instead direct your holy will toward the resolution of the arguments? Hold a firm vision of a peaceful outcome and let the pieces fall into place in a harmonious manner. I absolutely love that last sentence. It's saying to hold a firm vision of a peaceful outcome. And this is something I've been learning how to do in my own life. Along my earlier journey, my attitude towards everything was very negative. I don't know, I think I just absorbed this from some people I grew up with. I absorbed it from society and um, I picked up a lot of fear as an empath, as a clairvoyant, as a sensitive person. I was absorbing everything around me like a sponge and a lot of it was fear and anxiety. And um, as I went along my path, I started realizing the power of your thoughts and um, that your thoughts create your reality and you change your thoughts, you change your life, you change your world. And so um, I've been learning how to hold a vision of a peaceful outcome. I've been learning in my own life how to apply this and it's really helped. So I want to share this with you guys, you know, holding a vision of a peaceful outcome in this situation with this argument or with this um, dispute or something that you're just waiting to kind of clear up, something that feels unfair, maybe this injustice. They're saying to let go of um, your expectations and allow the universe to work in its own way because maybe the situation is just in the middle of transforming into something that's going to end up being for your greatest good. You can't always judge a situation while it's still kind of being worked out. You've got to allow things to flow. A lot of times you look back in retrospect and some of the worst things that happen end up turning into the biggest blessing because of the lessons that you learn and the way that it shapes and molds you in your life. So I hope that this message helps you guys. Peace out. Now, if you chose number two, I got the Yamanya card for you. And this is the golden opportunity. This is my favorite card to see. My cards don't lie, so I know something is definitely on the way for you. This card says, important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. The book reads, like the ocean, life moves in waves and tides. Timing is everything, so when an opportunity presents itself, you must dive in at that moment. Everything that you've done to prepare yourself will accompany you. Yet, if you hesitate or procrastinate, another opportunity will surely come along just as the tides wash in and out continuously. Like the ocean, life is rich with variety and beauty. Enjoy experiencing its various rhythms and allow all doubts to be washed away. What I love about this is that if for some reason you miss your opportunity, the universe comes along and brings you another one. Sometimes I have friends or you know clients come to me and ask me, you know, is this job, am I gonna land this job that I just applied for? Or is this thing that I went out for, is it gonna come through? Or am I gonna win this contest? Am I gonna win the lottery? So sometimes I pull a card that says, it's not likely and I have to deliver that news. But what I always remind people is that if it's not this opportunity, it's going to be the next one. The waves in the ocean just keep rolling in and rolling in. Same thing with your opportunities. The universe is abundant, it's limitless. And when you start realizing this, you, you let go of needing to rush and needing to hurry and like feeling like, you know, things are over just because you passed something up. You, you stop feeling like your heyday is already over and you might as well just settle for this. You start realizing 
um, opportunities will continue to come and furthermore you can create your own opportunities so is this an opportunity you need to create is this something you need to walk forward to or maybe it's just something you need to be open to receive right now so I hope that this message helped you out I'm sending you so much love and light peace out